In this video, you'll learn how to use order entry action buttons and read the position display of NinjaTrader order entry windows. I'll break down the various sections of the position display, show how to use price action and quantity selectors, demonstrate closing an open position, and discuss the role of time and force. Order filled. NinjaTrader's order entry displays all show three sections, a quantity and trade direction display, profit and loss, or P&L for short, and the average entry price. The quantity display will have a green background for long positions and a red background for short positions. When using the order ticket, basic entry, or FX board window, use the simple price selector to set an entry price. You can type directly into a price selector or scroll through prices with the middle mouse wheel. The price selector is accompanied by an order type drop down menu to specify what you'd like to submit. You can control order quantity by typing directly into the quantity field using the up and down arrows next to the selector, or using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Middle mouse clicking on the quantity selector will display a preset quantity pad. Click the configure option to make modifications to the quantity pad. In all NinjaTrader order entry windows, there are close action buttons which will close a position or an ATM strategy. The left mouse button will close the current position and cancel any working orders associated with the instrument and account. Order filled. The TIF, or Time and Force Selector, is a standard control available from all order entry features that determines how long you would like the order to be active before it is cancelled. Day means orders will remain active until the end of the trading session. GTC stands for Good Till Cancelled, and GTD stands for Good Till Date. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our videos for quick tips to help you get started with NinjaTrader.